Get that how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Massages. My name is Case. C A S E. Come in. Come on. I've got intel. Recon is afoot. Yes, bestie. I've got this this feeling of someone being undecided about some decision they've made in your life. When I have to make a major decision, darling dears, I think of these five things and I write them down and then I list the pros and cons underneath it. The first thing I think about, is the relationship toxic? <laughs> yeah, coming out what? Going pow pow. Mm -hmm. Is the relationship consistently harmful or draining? Leaving is important to your mental health, for your personal growth. Staying in the same place or with the same people hindered your growth. Walking away opened up new opportunities for you, for you to work on your self-improvement, darling dears, to go within for self-examination and self-improvement. Was you in a negative environment? Leaving consistent, consistently negative or, or stressful places, bestie. Allowed you to find more positive and fulfilling surroundings. With that capital P. What's that P, darling dears, which can't, which can't be bought or bartered? It's also what self-care and mental health. Yes, yes. Certain people or situations negatively affected your mental health, which is your wealth. Without it, you've got nothing, blood. Mm -hmm. Spend your days and nights barking at passing cars. Mm -hmm. By walking away, you prioritized yourself. And my final one is what? The misalignment of your values, darling dears. Your values clashed with those around you. Le leaving allowed you to find like-minded individuals, souls from your soul tribe and environments for a more um, authentic life, darling dears. As we sit firmly in what? Pluto in Aquarius. Go and watch that read to see how, how it's going to affect you for the next 19 years. I did two of them, darling dears. And it will be valid for the next 19 years. How about that? Pinkies up. Let's dive in, darling, do this. Oh, you have a six. The energy of the six speaks about you being acceptance of a situation, wanting more homework, teamwork, cooperation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Equal give and take. The number six is ruled by Venus. Venus rules um, Libra. Taurus and Libra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the second and the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of what contractual partnerships? The dice ain't playing. Came me up firing, darling dears. It's also about open enemies. When you left that situation, you opened up what? The house of hate, darling dears. Mm -hmm. 
They hate you for choosing you. Always choose you, bestie. The energy of the six is also the number 33, the master number 33. You are a master manifester, darling dears. And you are tapped and tuned into your Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. Continue to utilize your creativity, darling dears. Utilize your creativity. Mm -hmm. And deliver it to the world. Yeah, by any means necessary, darling dears. By any means necessary, you have the energy of the one. The one speaks about you evaluating everything, darling dears, because you are about to make a major decision in your life. Don't attempt to make the major decision until the next, after the next new moon. The one coming up now is the new moon in Aquarius on the 9th of, um, the 9th of February, darling dears. I'm going to be uploading that read today so you can go and check out how it's going to affect your sun, moon and rising sign. I suggest that you look at your rising sign first. Mm -hmm. Your rising sign is what show, you show to the world, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. You also have the energy of the five. It speaks about security. Somebody's threatened by the foundation you're creating for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, threatened, darling dears. And in their threat, what do they do? They attack. The energy of the five is conflict and confusion, darling dears. Creating it at your shapely back, possibly law 16 of the 48 laws of power. Mm -hmm. You have a new responsibility in your life, darling dears. One which is more caring and protective of yourself. That is what your main responsibility is. And it also speaks about what your community is about to find you, darling dears. Put your feelers out there, darling dears. You won't find them in your house. No. Mm -hmm. All right. The energy of the six, bestie. Lean in. Be careful of losing money in an investment or a bet, darling dears. So you've been forewarned. So you can avoid the lossation of the Skrillers.com, darling dears. Or betting something you can't afford to lose. Like what? Your mind, your panani. Yeah. Your fatum, all them. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Good golly and gosh. Mmm. Mmm. The energy of the one five speaks about a social event. Possibly um, an engagement. Or somebody's business proposal opening of a business. Um... But for others, it speaks about the beginning of a love affair. Mm -hmm. We already spoke about the seventh house. There'll be open enemies around that. Somebody doesn't want you to move on to a situation where you get true love's first kiss. Well, that's their business, blood. They're outside the perimeter. Couldn't give a good golly or a gosh because no one's checking for them. Boom. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, Isaiah 37, 33, their mouths will be shut. As their eyes are open, darling dears. Always when it's too late is their cry. The energy of the six is represented by the lovers in tarot, Gemini energy. So it could be the negative energy from siblings, open enemies because you are choosing you, cutting off certain what? Um, negative environments, toxic relationships, darling dears, dysfunction, be gone. Mm-hmm. Boo! S the lover's energy also speaks about you making the right choice. This is a trustful for you. Divine wants you to continue to step without seeing the stair. Yeah, and again, it highlights the major decision or choice you are about to make. Yeah. Somebody's running an errand. Be careful. Pay attention, darling dears. Pay attention to the road and the people around you. All right. Mm -hmm. I've put the 48 laws of power on the astrological house wheel. So the sixth house, the house of health and service. No, law number seven, delegate wisely, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Law number 13, when asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest. You're more than likely going to get it, darling dears. Law number 19, know who you're dealing with. Know your audience, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And law number 47, set reasonable goals. Some of you just had to make the goal of what? Waking up every day, darling dears, and realizing that you made the right choice. Look at showing another five. When you see two fives, darling dears, the 55 means let it go, but it's also a margin, master number telling you what change is, con is constant, darling dears. This change that you've gone through in your life where you've had to let go of so many negative situations, circumstances, people, places and things was an absolute must and a necessary. Um, as far as aspects are concerned, 
the number six is represented by um, a sextile. Mm -hmm. So it's supporting you, darling, dears. It's going to bring harmonious relationships towards you. Your birthday could be the 6th, the 15th or the 24th or that could be a significant date for you. Your luckiest days over the next few days will be Friday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday, which is asso associated with the number 6. Um, the letters F, O and X will have some bearing on your life. Avoid the numbers 1, 5, 7. Mm -hmm. As I said, the number 6 is ruled by Venus. And Venus is associated with the letters U, V, and W. So you've got U, V, W, and F, O, X. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be the 369. Good golly gosh, maybe you're using the 369 manifestation method. Mm -hmm. Working on your subconscious, darling, yes. But Kessler's, Tesla told us that the key to the universe is the 369. It's all in the numbers, darling, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get your oracle ancestral message. We use the African goddess rising. Haven't used that in a while. You've got your creativities, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Tapping into your creativities. It's on the number 12. The 12 is what? The hangman, darling, dears. You're seeing things from a new perspective. This is about putting situations on pause, situations that kept you stuck. Even a situation where you may have felt like, what, taking yourself out, end of lifetime for you. Or you've awakened to a new revelation in your life, darling dears. This new perspective. No longer what, sacrificing yourself to situations that are not for you. This looks like a disgruntled bunch. Maybe as many as what? Five, six, oh, six people don't wish well for you, darling dears. They don't. They don't like that. the fact that you're creative. Maybe you have some kind of a platform or you're out in the community. But whatever you're doing, you're upsetting a lot of people. They're looking at your stability, your security. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. This is what? Soul forgiveness. I can't make it up, bestie. I cannot. Let's see if I can find the book. Found it. God is good. And it's on the number 28. The number 28 is what? The number of wealth, darling dears. This is blessing. This is when we see archways, darling dears. When you see an archway on a card, it speaks about something opening up for you. Some of you are using road opening oil, but it also speaks about you've you've got you've had a rite of passage or passages opening up for you, darling dears. Opportunities that are abundant, a wealth of everything, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's quickly take it to the book and get the meanings. So the seven sisters is on page 24 and again we have the energy of the six good golly and gosh darling dears two sixes speaks about contradictions they didn't expect you to leave darling dears and everything you're doing with your creativities you are no longer confused why because you've forgiven on a soul level darling dears forgiveness is the key to everything forgiveness is for you bestie it's not for anyone else it's for you and it doesn't make you any less of a big cat, darling dears. It makes you more than a conqueror. Fist bump. Let's carry on. Mm -hmm. All right. Page 24. Get a screenshot and read at your leisure or your leisure, darling dears. I'm just going to read what jumps out to me. The Goddess of Creativity is from New Orleans. It's a temple of conjurers and it's the element of air. Okay, um, create, create, create. You come from conjurers and creators. Your blood remembers. Use your gifts to multiply your magic. You are a cosmic, can make, create tricks. Oh, I love that word. A creatrix and creative force. You are a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? Break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. So yes, you can, you are creative. No one else's opinion matters here. Not especially not them ones that are folding their arms at your back, darling dears. Remember I told you that. Um, the goddess de declaration is, I am a creative visionary. Yeah, future thinking, darling dears. Plan, plotting and strategizing and bombing first. Mm -hmm. 
You also have the energy of the number 28, which is on page 56. Five and six goes to 11. Master number again, darling, is you've been divinely inspired and divine wants you to pay attention to the synchronicities of it all. There's no such thing as coincidence, darling, is. Mm -hmm. If you just screenshot and read at your leisure or leisure. Okay. Um, goddess of soul forgiveness is Bantu. The temples is lovers and the element is bush, darling, is. You can't rush forgiveness. You have to feel it to heal. Feel the pain, hurt, grief, rage and despair. Take time with your heart. Proverbs 4. 23, darling, dears, guard your heart, for from your heart springs the well of life. Mm, it doesn't say that. I ad libbed. But don't, don't judge, don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is a high vibration frequency than the pain you must allow yourself to feel. That's how you get through the dearness, the dark night of the soul. We as Big Cat, we face everything and rise. Unforgiveness colors your world with lack, mistrust, and resentment. You start to see everything through victim colored glasses. Good golly and gosh, we rip them bitches off, darling dears, and crush them under our flip flop. What's that? Our flip flop of common sense, darling dears. Mm -hmm. But forgiveness does not have to include reconciliation. How now, brown cow? Listen, you can forgive them, but they must not eat off your table again. Why? A snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. And you have to remember, snakes does not necessarily mean evil. It means wisdom. They're wise to their ways, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Start with self-forgiveness. Say out loud, I forgive myself with love. The goddess declaration, I forgive myself and free myself. I forgive and free others. I've put a mantra onto the channel, darling dears. You can read it. Go for it. What did I say? You had to forgive yourself as you left that situation. Yeah, and you've cut them cords. Lord Jesus, look at this, darling dears. This means mind, body, and soul. And you are carrying what? What's this called? Is it a scathe? A machete? But again, the window of opportunity. This is your you being crowned, darling dears. Crown. This is what you change in the the um, trajectory of your progeny if you have them, or your future progeny, darling dears. Yeah, the two and a seven goes to a nine. Nine speaks about fruition, ending of a cycle, darling dears. I love it. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. You cut them cords. If you'd like some help with that, please hit me up in the Gmail, and I can supply you with what the exact what to do. Mm -hmm. Everything is a ritual, darling, dears. All right. So you wanted better in a situation. You was plum tuckered out. Had enough. Had it up to your short and curlies, darling. You're tired of what? Giving up your psychological password, right? Yeah. Family helped them cheat, darling, dears. Mm hmm. Your family members could have cheated you out of an inheritance. Talk about you all the time. All the time, all the time, good God, your name is forever on their tongue. Could be family members or people you once saw as family, darling. This happiness and success is your revenge, bestie. Live your best life, find your joy. You have to remember you was in fight, flight, and freeze mode for the longest time. Some of you from birth because of the dysfunction you was born into. And it set off a chain reaction from the friends that you had, your partners, and even possibly even children that you, that you bred or birthed into this world. But no more. Until they, them, and I'm do right by you, darling dears. Everything that they try is going to fail. Yeah, because you are that new man, that woman who is divinely guided. Remember I told you that? If you look at these people that you had to let go out of your life, darling dears, you'll see that their life didn't get no better. But you couldn't give a good girl or a god. Look what's looking up from the other day. Abuse. They abused you, darling dears. They did. And they wasn't sorry. Yeah. 
it was to the point of ad nauseum. Yes, we get Latin up in this bitch sometimes. That means the point of sickness, darling dears. Mm -hmm. in, Einstein said that's the, um, the epitome of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. You decided to jump off that crazy making bandwagon, right? Taking control of your life, right? Taking or took your power back, darling dears. Nothing like the back end without the Vaseline. Law 16 of the 48 Laws of Power. They did not respect your presence, but they are respecting your absence. I told you, all they do is talk about you. People that were your family and people that saw you as family. They're seeing you as so different, darling dears. It's not that you're different. You're living your true life's purpose, darling dears. You've been crowned for the efforts you made. They was meant to see your worth and the beauty that you brought to every circumstance and situations. From what a distance, darling dears, in the plastic seats outside their mud hut, right? You've got details and decisions to be attending to, darling dears, as you continue to what? Reap what you sowed. And those that what? Proverbs 22, 8. Those that what? Sowed injustice is surely reaping calamity. Bad luck is befalling everyone that did you wrong. You was the light. And as I said, until they do right by you. But they're not doing it at the moment, darling dears. They're cursing their own self with their own tongue. Mm -hmm. Nothing like time, darling dears. And what's that Saturn to come through the rules and regulations, darling? Mm -hmm. Saturn don't ramp or play. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because a Saturn transit takes two and a half years. Two and a half years in the DNS and can't find your way out. While you're getting into the Watuzi without the Vaseline, the rules and the regulations, they're not, they've learned no focus. You've learned new focus and new discipline. You find joy. You kick your way out of the duvet like a six month, six month old darling dears. Mm -hmm. The spiritual quarantine that your ancestors helped you go through darling dears this dns again i look over my right shoulder because i'm the red light green light champion of 79 as are you bestie because you see the thing when you don't know a thing you don't know but when you know a thing oh my god you can't unknow it you've evolved and it was an unavoidable change Right, let's get a deck. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross. Yeah, you left the trauma and the drama behind you, blood. The cards ain't coming to play. Pow, pow. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups in the upright is Pisces, as well as again, Saturn energy, darling dears. This is, you was put on a spiritual journey and it was full of endings and beginnings. You are no longer confined to toxic or toxicity. Change is your go-to move, but it's just, it was a spiritual come up for you, darling dears. A spiritual come up, moving on from emotional trauma and drama, unsure whether to stay or leave, Vlad, leave. It was the right decision you made. Rejection is redirection, darling dears. Away from sad things that dissatisfied you, disappointed you, brought nothing but sadness and disillusionment into your life. Divine said, how now, brown cow? Touch not my anointed. Mm -mm. We've already put in our request that we don't want to be the strongest soldier in 2024. We want to reap the benefits of our strongation, darling dears. Yes, yes, yes. All right, what's currently covering? Oh, we've got the King of Swords. You've learned many things, darling dears. The King of Swords takes his time to gather his information. It also speaks about some form of legal action that someone possibly had to take to extract themselves from a situation. Or people that you've left behind, darling dears, are going through legal situations. But it also speaks about spiritual court, darling dears. Mm -hmm. King of Swords, you had to learn new things. Many of you have become a keyboard gangster or you entered an organization. It could be in the legal field, but it's definitely a spiritual journey that you've been on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you're you're more mature now, darling, dears. You show no emotion to situations that no longer serve you because it does not have you bound. You've claimed back all of your energy. King of Swords, Styli, you speak the truth. You only expect the truth. You are resilient and strong. Powerful, darling, dears. Extremely powerful. Let's move this out of the way and get some more space. You're powerful. What's crossing you at this moment in time? What you went through, darling, dears. Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. You went through a difficult time, darling, dears. And as I said, there's a lot of gossip at your back, but this is about your spiritual strength. Yeah. When you thought you was walking on your own, this is God, King of Swords, was carrying you, always giving you direction, ever forwards, never backwards, darling, dears. Yeah. Learn new things, darling, dears. of your resilience, your persistence, you've left behind situations and people where there was unforgiveness, you took a risk, it was a challenge darling dears, part of your soul purpose, life challenge darling dears, this is why you've got soul forgiveness, you took up the challenge and did it like a boss, well, what's behind the big cat as they continue to what disappear over the hemisphere towards whatever they want, right? Yeah, trauma and drama. Gossip, darling dears. Emotional vampires who go by the name of Prakalisha or Prakala, son or daughter of Pennywise the Clown. Mm -hmm. You're putting it down. Yeah, this also speaks about some form of counselling, some kind of mental, emotional healing that you've actually gone through, darling dears. Yep. I feel guided to get the tiny cards. Let's get the tiny cards. Yeah, you left that situation behind you. You haven't left nothing behind. Look, all they do is talk about you. Because you decided to spiritually wash your face like David. Many situations you left silently, darling dears. They was waiting for you to break and come back. Well, they're going to listen. If they didn't hold their breath, they should have, mate. Mm -hmm. 55. You definitely put it down, darling dears. 5-5 five, five on the tableau. When we see two fives in juxtaposed position, darling dears, it speaks about the personal challenges that you overcame, Queen of Swords. This is you being divorced from that situation, cutting spiritual soul ties. You had to be brave when you didn't even know what the hell you was doing or where you was going. But you had faith the size. Have you seen how small a mustard seed is? This is about you being gifted with what a new level of knowledge, darling dears. And the biggest Geiger counter will be what your solar plexus, your tummy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. When it's bad, you'll feel that sinking sensation. And when it's good, it's butterflies. That's how it works for me, darling dears. This goes to what? Five, six of swords mentally moved on from the situation. And some of you have physically moved away. Or divine lifted you up and put you at a distance. So you're not easily reachable, darling dears, and you are vigilant for any marauders or mud huttians trying to do what? Time travel and come back into your existence. You're not having it. Nope. Nopity nope. 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 No, you just left trauma. Look, an opportunist, darling dears, you was wasting time. You wasted your, your mental health was down, your physical health was down. And there was no one to trust. Everyone was taking a risk on you. Seems like you left a situation where you was treated like a scapegoat. When you are God's masterpiece, Ephesians 2.10. How dare they? They dared. They were shameless and bold. Mm -hmm. They dared. Okay. So what's beneath you at this moment in time? Mm -hmm currently beneath the big cat. Look, I can't make it up. Confliction, fighting, darling, there's confusion. Mm -hmm. So that's three fives on the tablet. Five, five, five speaks about the constructive freedom that you've changed because you chose to be versatile when you chose you, darling. This you've left behind the gossip mongers, the merchants of slander. Some of you left behind what a physically abusive, abusive situation, a cheating partner that always had you competing amongst others. Good God, that's beneath you now. Yeah, shall we? Yes, we shall. We dare. We're bold. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. You put them past situations on pause, darling, dears, and you will not go back to no confusing situation. This is gossip. This is arguing. This is fighting. This is people that are passive aggressive, darling, dears. People know exactly how to keep you stuck. But guess what? You, you found out how to what? Bring your legs down, darling, dears. You understood that you hold all of the aces, the aces for new beginning, opportunity, tapping into your creativities. Why? Because you've got soul forgiveness, which you brought around, bestie. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what's beneath you. Feeble-minded simpletons. <laughs> bestie, oi. Yeah, everything's in the details. That's why you have to make the right decisions, darling, dears. What's above the big cat, but they don't seem being poured into them? Look, I can't make it up. Security, darling, this loyalty, stable foundation, able to create whatever you want. This is the universe giving you a, a 10 across the board. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't hate it. This is stable situations, darling, dears. The loyalty that you gave to the wrong group of people, right? That you saw as family or were family, darling, dears. You are now to get it back, paid back, darling, dears, in kind. This is you creating a more stable foundation for yourself. Some of you are buying a home. Um, this is the season, and for others, you're going to be meeting a partner who is well off, rich, wealthy. We already saw the 28, darling, dears. Yeah. New beginning, darling, dears. New loyalty, but you had to remember. Always remember, be loyal to yourself. If you're on an airplane, it's going down. They'll tell you to put the mask on you first because you can't help no one else. Mm. Blessings, darling, dears. Blessings are being showered onto you. And we see yet again another archway for the infinite possibilities. Somebody's moving to a village, darling, dears. Okay, go for it, darling dears. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Where are you right now? Yeah, the injustices of it all, darling dears. And we've also got what the temperance on it. You're an earth angel, darling dears. You are the karma to that situation. A legal situation, a legal situation around money and finances, darling dears. What about this money and finances? You already know. That it's going to go your way. Yeah. This is about you managing your time. But then again, you're an earth angel. What did I say? Let them watch you, darling dears. As you continue to take control of your life. Get your, all of your powers back. Yeah. Some of you even put your feet in water, darling dears. Possibly even a spiritual bath. Best day to do it is on a Venus Friday or a new moon, darling dears. Setting your intentions. Yeah. This is a new partner coming towards you, darling dears. Somebody has... The King of Pentacles is someone who took a risk. They took a leap of faith. This is somebody who's coming on the tail end of their healing. They've healed from whatever they... Listen, this is how they're going to see you. Listen, baby. Whether you, this, I do tell you to go out because you're going to meet people, but this person's coming to find you. You're different. You stand out. Why? Because you love yourself. Because of what you went through. How you carry yourself. You are a carrier of the light, darling dears. And you are in like attract, like mode. Leave these double-minded people where they are. James 1.8. Mm-hmm. Balancing out the injustices, darling dears. This is this is you understanding yourself, realizing that you know what? You was just a character in their life and they was a character in yours. Life is just a stage, darling dears. But you get the opportunity to choose what the next act will be when you choose yourself. Mm. What's in your, how are you seen by others outside of you? The left behind us, left behind us, the mud huttians, prackle or prackle, how do they see you at this moment in time? You who decided to what? Break a, a generational curse, darling dears. They see you as gone. <laughs> gone. They see you as spiritual or highly intuitive, darling dears. Yeah, eight of wands. They would love to come back in and F you over, right? This goes to nine of wands. We already saw it. You've just got over what they done did. They want to spin the block if on UF. 
Yeah. People from the past would like to come by. It's fickle energy, darling. This they're still low vibing, gossiping, right? Focusing on other people's business. And they're bitter. Because they didn't get to what? Stab you in the back the way they wanted to, darling. They didn't like to do it again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not only that, they want to offload their she's naive of a life, darling, this onto you. So you can be burdened with all of their what crosses. Listen, leave these cross makers. They will break any any happiness, any peace, any manifest any manifestations that you have going on, darling dears. The opportunities that you don't see, the blessings from the most high, they will interrupt it. Leave them where they are. Everybody had a choice to make and they chose that. Well, guess what? Now they get the boomerang. Proverbs 21, 18. How dare they? You've graduated from them, cum laude. These people are bitter, bitter, but until they do right by you, darling dears, their life is going to continue to be a failure, stumbling block, right? Because the, yeah, they have, they're hiding, they will come through hiding their hate, right? Justice card is the seventh house of contractual partnerships, darling dears. They will hide their hate, darling dears, until they find out how, how you overcame. So they can what? Bastardize it, darling dears. Use it against you. Mm -hmm. They want one more round, Julie, with your hairline. But until they do right by you, darling dears, continue with this new beginning. They see you as gone, darling dears. They see this you as a new person. They know that some of them are watching you go into union with this new partner who has an age difference. But they see that you took a risk, possibly in the spiritual field. Maybe you have a platform because this is the sun shining on you being in the spotlight darling dears like i said you may have a platform a business whatever you took a risk on you are being blessed darling dears because you give healing men men um Pentecale speaks about mental health your health your words your presence your ideas darling dears tangible ideas gives healings to many yeah let them talk about you who care less what about your hopes and wishes what have you got in your hopes and wishes? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Let them st they stay away. <laughs> yeah. This new knowledge. The lantern. Lean in, bestie. The lantern speaks about things that have been illuminated you while you was in the DNS. When you isolated you from this this toxic relationship for your personal growth. Left those negative environments for self-care and your mental health and people that were misaligned with your values. You're an earth angel, darling dears, and you are being protected and guided. Continue to move forward. They're at your back for a reason. And remember, Proverbs 26, 11, As a fool returns to folly, only a dog returns to vomit. And we don't eat vomit around here. Yeah. Give me one more on the hopes and wishes. Yeah. What you are seeking is seeking you. True soul tribe, darling dears. Because of the strength you showed and the fact that you chose to be drama free, you didn't seek revenge. You sought, you sought to heal thyself. Making the right choices, darling dears. Spiritually guided. And it's infinite, darling dears. You've cleansed your lineage. Your progeny are on a different trajectory because of the choice you made. You understand now that you forgive and you will be forgiven. Matthew 6, 14. Final outcome. Possible final outcome. <laughs> hey, hey. Woo child. What's this? Listen, you've moved on. You're not crying, right? You've, you've been to the mirror too many times and beat the shiznai out of yourself till blood and spit will fly. Yeah, you are their karma. They would like another opportunity in your life, but divine is opening the way for new opportunities. I see celebrations possibly moving to a new house, darling, to a new home, but you are definitely on a different spiritual pay grade. Yeah. You're winning, darling, dears. But this is about you what no longer pouring in situations that were sent to what teach you what you didn't want or need in your life. I love it. I don't hate it. On that note, I drops me mine. To love to my teesprings, 
my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. Yes, go to the Teesprings and buy some of the merch. I've got t-shirts, hoodies, puzzles, shower curtains, you name it. It's like peas, greens, potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel. Your likes, your subscribes, your bookings, your donations, your, your comments. I appreciate your appreciation. And I love you to the bone, bestie. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again. On these Tara streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. They're gonna watch you be loved the way you deserve to be loved. Why? Because of your love of self, me cat. Love of self, remember, we roll with the five. Love the most high, Father, God, Mother, Isis. Then yourself, then your progeny if you have it. And after that, it's the body and the bag. Tight and right, bestie. Tight and right. Big cat, way!